like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We will be doing a tutorial on how to dark and cold start the Boeing 747. I will be doing a series of videos on this plane from what I'm doing today which is the dark and cold start. We will also taxi, get her to the runway, take her off. I will also be doing a video on how to use the autopilot with your IFR, altitude settings and things of that nature in this plane. I will be doing a video on how to perform a ILS landing and a, a, probably a couple other videos probably one on how to use the FMS system in this plane how to set up IFR flight through the FMS system so just be on the lookout for those videos I'll try to have all those out within the next week or two but uh, without further delay let's go ahead and get to it we are in a really tight spot by the way we are at Atlanta Jackson but uh we'll see what my pushback guy can do I do have it set to AI co-pilot co so I'm not too trusting of him so we're gonna have to watch what he does and calls out here just so we don't get screwed but anyway without further delay let's go ahead and get this bad girl started up so First things first, let's go ahead and get up here. We're going to go to standby power. Turn that to battery. Open up this little lever right here. Set that battery to on. Shut, shut that lever. Go ahead and hit external power 1 on the left and external power 2 on the right. And we'll go back down here, we'll now see all our displays on, our FMS systems on, all our autopilot stuff's on. So now we'll go ahead down here. We got set up a few things for our takeoff and our flight. And if you did an IFR flight before this, then this will definitely help you. If you didn't, then some of this you don't have to pay attention to. But uh, for those who did, <clears throat> click on legs right here. So this is going to be all our waypoints through our flight. Our suggested flight speed through those waypoints, 310 nautical knots. Our altitude we should be at, 31,500 feet. And you can see all these waypoints by clicking next, previous page. But anyway, so go back to legs. All right, so now we need to go to init reference. We need to go to performance. We will see our cruising altitude, which will be 31,500 feet. So we'll go ahead and come up here and key that in to our altitude up here. Thirty one five. All right, come back down here. Then we will go back to init, go to takeoff. All right, so we have our V1, VR, V2 speeds, our takeoff speeds, um, our Basically, V1 speed is the point of no return that you have to take off. If, as soon as you hit that speed, you'll also get that call out when you're going down the runway. We'll say V1, meaning you have no choice. You're it's too late to stop. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set mine to 208 knots. Uh, we don't have any flaps set right now, so let's go ahead and key in 10 degrees of flaps for takeoff. boom and then let's go ahead and just go ahead and pull this down over here boom so we don't forget about that uh, let's go ahead and key in that 208 knots right here all 
boom. Hit flight director. And a cool little thing also, if y'all didn't know, which I'm not going to go in detail about it in this video, but when you go back to init, you can go to this thrust here, and you can give your plane a boost during takeoff. 10% boost to 20% boost. So if you're on a shorter runway or so forth, that's what that's for. We'll get to that later in another video. But let's go back to the legs. Okay. So from this point here, when you go ahead, just like in the A320, come back up here, go to our AP1, go all the way over to start. Come on now. And it's gonna, then it's going to kick back. And then just a minute, just like the A320, these will come on in a second. They'll say available. Obviously, our AI co-pilot is going to start wanting a pushback. So we're going to watch him. Um, go back up here. Turn on our lights while we're waiting. Atlantic ground Boeing November Echo 007 requesting pushback. Boeing November Echo 007 pushback request. We'll go ahead and turn on taxi lights. Uh, and then come back over here, click on your AP generators 1 and 2. Right here. I got to see this guy here. I want to see if he's actually going to be able to get back here to push this plane back. Well, he is. All right. Well, about to get that jolt. Um, go ahead and turn this weather display. I like that one. Okay, uh, come down here. Go to parking brake. Oh, there went that jolt. Do that. Now we're going back. Okay. Uh, need him to steer this baby. Atlantic ground, Boeing November Echo 007 requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Boeing November Echo 007, your request has been transmitted to the operator. Ooh, it's gonna be a tight one. We'll be in the grass. Echo we'll be all right. All right. Put a parking brake back on. Okay, so at this point here, we're going to go ahead. Uh, I hit the flight director on. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start our engines. So to start your engines in this plane, you got your four switch fuel pumps here. And on two and three of these overrides, you just want to click these. But you'll hit but switch, switch, that down, come down here, push that button. And then if you come up here, you'll see it start to rise and we'll wait until that little button right here clicks back in and then we'll move on to the next one so these engines are turned on in real life one by one one at a time and they're done in the sequence from four all the way down to one so right now it's just kind of a waiting game Wait on each one of these engines to get started up. All right, I heard that click. Okay, so now let's do three. Come back down. 
Click three up. Three is starting to rise. That looks great. Just clicked. Engine two. Got engine two going. One more to go. I know it's a little bit of a wait waiting on these things, but what you get with a big plane. And engine one. All right, so now let's go back to ATC. Go back to clearance. Re request our taxi IFR. Atlanta ground, Boeing November Echo 007 with Kilo ready to taxi IFR. Boeing November Echo 007 taxi to and hold short of runway niner left using taxiway cross runway niner right. Contact tower on 119 decimal tree when ready. Atlanta ground, Boeing November Echo 007 with Kilo ready to taxi IFR. Boeing November Echo 007 taxi to and hold short of runway niner left using taxiway cross runway niner right. Contact tower on 119 decimal tree when ready. Taxiing hold short runway niner left using taxiway cross runway niner right Boeing 007. All right, so we got that. So we're gonna go ahead and taxi out there and hold on runaway nine right. Come bring that down there. Uh, all our engines look good there. Uh, we already turned on our taxi light for taxiing. So it looks good. All right. We'll go ahead and give the engines a little little rev up here. Make sure that they're working good. Okay, that looks good to me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change my range here. It says point zero point twenty five quarter mile. I, that's way too close. miles I like that better okay we'll start with that for now okay so now let's go on down here release parking brake let's see if we can get out of this tight spot Sorry, passengers, for the uh, long takeoff we're doing here, or the long taxi. Boeing 007. 
I'm gonna go ahead and jump this jump shot so we'll I'll meet y'all guys back on the other side all right guys we're back so we are now holding short of runway oh I'm not sure what just happened here. See, he's lost all volume. But we are holding short, runaway nine left. Let's go ahead and contact ATC. Oh, there goes volume. Not sure what happened there. Uh, request takeoff clearance from Atlanta. Atlanta Tower, Boeing, November Echo zero zero seven, ready for IFR departure, runway nine or left. So, so set our altimeter. Cleared Ours is already set. If yours is not set, be sure you set that so you have the right altitude. Very important. Um, we're waiting on this guy to take off. Uh, also, at this point, we will go ahead and arm our speed brakes. And then we will also come up here. Go ahead and turn on these lights to show people we're taking off. Bam, turn off our taxi light. All right, let's go ahead and move forward to the runaway. Alright, so uh, what we will do is we will go ahead and just set our heading in the direction of the runaway, which is 95 degrees until we would go into our autopilot. Come on, baby. Come to papa. Bam. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Boom. Okay. And then we will set our auto brake to RTO. Reject the takeoff in case for some reason we have to build on takeoff. That will stop us as quick as possible. Now, uh, I'm going to do a auto throttle takeoff, which you don't have to do. It's not necessary, but uh, just a cool little feature in this plane I'll show you. So first click auto throttle here. And then if you go right here, you'll see these two little switches right here. Activate Toga. Activate both those bad boys on. And then both these engines, or, or I'm sorry, all four engines, start to rev up for takeoff. We're good to go there. Release parking brake. And we are go for the moon. Nose down. Get some more speed here. V1. V1 means a point of no return, which means we have to take off. There goes our VR. Alright. So if you get a good takeoff, 
then go ahead and raise up your landing gear which we're going up I'll go ahead, go ahead and raise our one three five decimal tree two five Boeing zero zero seven zero Atlanta departure Boeing November Echo zero zero seven is at two thousand seven hundred feet climbing eleven thousand feet. Go ahead, turn Boeing November off. Echo zero zero seven Atlanta departure altimeter tree zero decimal two seven continues the wind and slant. All right, we will go ahead and turn off our takeoff lights. Boom. And then from here, we would go ahead and hit autopilot one. Hit our V nav on and L nav on. And now we will start to see our plane take its course, which our is to Orlando International. Here, lining up, setting up. And there she is, right there, KSFB, 330 miles. Going to 128 decimal zero, Boeing 007. Atlanta Center, oh. Boeing November Echo 007 is at 7,800 feet, climbing 11,000 feet. But we're going to go ahead and connect to the route right here. We should start banking to the left. Yep, there we go. Starting to bank on course. Well, that's it for this video. I will see y'all on my next tutorial, guys. If, if y'all like this video, if it helped y'all out at all, please subscribe to my channel. It helps out immensely. Like, share, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and like button. And as always, until next time, happy flying, guys. Pilot 0083. Signing off.